the the sight that you see during totality it, it is deeply emotional and it also fills you with a sense of wonder on a scale of one to ten i like to say that partial eclipse might be a three or a four but seeing a total eclipse on this same scale is a million it's totally off the charts there's nothing like it just before totality the light will rapidly dim, shadows will become sharp. You might see a phenomena called shadow bands. And then in an instant, it's dark. You'll look up at the sun and see the most amazing sight, the, the black hole of the moon superimposed against the sun's corona. And most people get a very visceral reaction to seeing a total eclipse. There's something in the pit of your stomach that says something is wrong here. This doesn't seem natural. It's so unusual and, and startling. Then after about four minutes, uh, sadly, the eclipse will come to an end. You'll see the uh, phenomena called the diamond ring, the dazzling interface between totality and sunlight when the tiniest bit of the sun is visible. It's a fairly long eclipse. It's the second longest total solar eclipse in the nation's history since 1776. More people live inside the eclipse path. Uh, the path is wider. Uh, it's almost 60% uh, wider. The duration is about four and a half minutes maximum when you're down in Texas. And by the time you get up to Maine, it drops down to about, I believe, three minutes. Uh, in the center of the path. Um, so it's important to be near the center and it's the further south you are, the longer the eclipse is gonna be. So if you're within only a um, two or three or, or four or five miles of the path, you're gonna see a very short total eclipse, maybe only five or 10 seconds. Whereas if you're near the middle of the path, you'll get four minutes or four and a half minutes. The important thing to remember is you need to wear the glasses for all the partial phases, but then when the total eclipse begins, you have to remove the glasses because you won't see anything at all of totality if you leave the glasses on. It will be the largest mass travel event in the United States. We estimate those numbers are roughly the equivalent of 50 simultaneous Super Bowls across the nation from Texas to Maine. Well, I, I think seeing a total eclipse is, is something that should be on everybody's bucket list. And this April is just a golden opportunity to see the total eclipse. This is not an event that's just for scientists or, or astronomers. It's a, an incredible event that will be something that, that people will remember for their entire lives.